let's hear it one more time for your charmed panel, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. We're getting a little social media action already. We try. We love that. Yes. Give it up one more time for these gorgeous ladies. Thank you. I am so honored to interview you guys. First of all, how has Comic Con Scotland Aberdeen been treating you so far? People here are so nice. Yay. You guys are lovely. You're honestly one of the loveliest groups of people I've ever encountered. You're all just so kind. So yes. thank you. Have you been enjoying yourself so far here in Aberdeen? We are. It's fresh, yeah. as they call it. Fresh, right? Yes. Very fresh. And Rose, how has the fan interaction been so far here at Comic-Con? I have not gone into any wrestling matches with anybody. <laughs> um, nobody has tried to vanquish me. And everybody's been lovely and really beautiful energy, and we appreciate that. Thank you. We appreciate you being here, coming all the way to Scotland. By the way, with your whole Ready to Rumble pass, the ring is right there. So listen, we won't make you do that, no way. We're gonna get some questions from you guys in just a bit, but if I can fangirl for a moment, obviously the show is iconic, but I have to ask, as you joined the cast, Rose, what was the chemistry like coming into the Hallowell house? Well, my entering the show was very much like my character Paige. Um, when she was experiencing magic for the first time or spells for the first time, all of that stuff was completely new to me. And because it was a very well-oiled machine, the, um, can you guys hear me okay? Okay, thanks. Um, you know, the crew was like, uh, the director was like, okay, now you orb. And I was like, what's orbing? Like, no, everyone just assumed I knew like, oh yeah, you know magic talk, right? And I didn't, but I learned and Paige went on to vanquish many demons. She did indeed. Now, ladies, I mean, again, the show is iconic, and it's, it's something that I think we all remember so fondly. We love that now we can stream it and watch it all the time. But, ladies, before you got into the show, were you, did you have any interest in witchcraft, potions, magical things like that? Was that something that interested you before you joined the cast of Charmed? I did, like, some love spells and uh <laughs> this is a true story the, yeah <laughs> did they work and judging from the men that i attracted with those love spells i obviously did something incredibly wrong <laughs> so uh just you know just heads up you guys no more love spells no. uh but yeah that was the only real magic i did i think what about you holly me you were casting spells all over the place weren't you no <laughs> Um, no, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a nature girl and I, you know, phases of the moon and the pull of the ocean and that kind of stuff for sure. Um, and I think, you know, obviously there's more out there than what appears to the eye. And, um, yeah, so I would say I was mystical. Cool. I like that. Thanks. Cool. Mystical. How about you, Rose? I wanted to be a vampire. Okay. <laughs> I think you were. I Wasn't did get to be you? in one of the episodes, yes, but in real life. You I tried mean, to eat me. I took myself to New Orleans when I was like 18 and wandered around in the middle of the night in cemeteries by myself, like, okay, come get me. <laughs> she just wanted to belong. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah, I broke in. I climbed the wall in the Metairie what? Cemetery. I was always unique that Just way. when I thought I knew everything about you. Yeah. That's a Comic Con exclusive. Well, I would imagine you guys had a lot of fun on set, but what was it like being together, filming late hours? Was a lot of camaraderie? How did you guys get along on set? And there was a lot of Scrabble. A lot of Scrabble <laughs> in between takes. There's, you know, it, it took a long Who time. Who was a Scrabble queen? Me. <laughs> Me. Once I was gone. <laughs> I Once don't remember I was gone, Scrabble you at all. No, you're the I, backgammon queen. That I will give I you. I am, but remember Catherine. Catherine was my makeup artist, and we, we all would play Scrabble, and we were a team. And, and I memorized the Scrabble dictionary, so I knew, like, the two-letter words. That's cheating. That were worth, like, 60 points or something crazy. That's cheating. So I would, I would just pull out my little Scrabble dictionary in my brain. Still cheating. Um, it, yeah, I guess. I mean, I have photographic memory. It's not my fault that I could memorize it. Rose, do you have good memories from set? Do they include Scrabble, your memories from being on my set? My memories do not include Scrabble. <laughs> my memories of Scrabble when I was a child that my mother made me play is that I would hide the letters under my leg and hope somebody would find out that I'd stolen them so they'd get mad and kick me out and I could be free. Also cheating. <laughs> 
That was my plan, and it worked every time. We're getting all every kinds time. of Comic Con exclusives here. Well, first of all, where are my ladies at in the crowd? I think you guys will agree that this was a very female empowering show, and I think that's something that really resonated with me. Do you think that's kind of why it's endured and why it's done so well? Is because it was very all about female empowerment for me, at least. I think the amount of men that responded to the show and is is astounding and lovely and men we love you we love the fact that you guys well we love some of you the ones here the good ones yeah we're not talking about the you know not not the ones ones we've divorced um how many divorces do we have between us a lot a lot yeah rose how many you got just one (laughs) i'm not answer i'm not asking these questions the other day i was honestly like Wait a second. I have no memory. I remember, like, I'm divorced, but I have no memory of... Getting married? No, I remember that, but I don't remember the end. I don't have any memory of the person leaving the house or how that happened. Oh, wow. At all. No, it was a very successful marriage, though. Because when they asked me to marry them, I said, I will marry you for two years exactly. Oh. And that was exactly what happened. I wanted the experience, but only for two years. Did somebody need a green card? No. Oh. No, no. He was a U.S. citizen. Um, he was an artist. He was great. It was a very successful marriage and a very successful divorce, and I got exactly what I wanted. Oh, that's amazing. And I think it's better to design your life if you can. Yeah. Yeah. Be prepared. I, I apparently did not take that route, nor did you. Ooh. Yeah. We just w- went and got engaged all the time, and then sometimes we said, I do. Yeah, I hate I was engaged f- many times. Many so times. So when the fifth time, I was like, I never said I want to get married but the person would ask me and I would freeze and just say yes out of usually being polite because I didn't know how to say no well because you don't want to hurt their feelings right so it's an awkward position and then I was like damn I have to be with the person six more months before I can break up with them and so the fifth time I got asked I was like what is behind door number three fine and we'd been together for four years and I was like okay probably logically two years and I thought if I don't live my life according to normal rules and I generally haven't then uh, I'll just do it differently here too no harm, no foul. Didn't hurt anybody. Um, we're still close and all good. Total bien. So one, four, plus her one. Oh, okay. I was like, oh my God. Three. Don't get me divorced um, again already. Six. I so bet you all have not, yeah. By the way, that, stay in Scotland, okay? That, that nothing stay with to tradition. Do with Your the life question. will work better. I think, you know what? We're experts. <laughs> if anybody and needs not any doing advice the right in thing. divorce, we got it. We, we gotcha. So going back to the question, uh, yeah, female well, empowerment is amazing. Okay. Female and empowerment. <laughs> we love our girls, but we also really love our, our, our boys. And, uh, you know, the show just resonated with, with individuals because yeah. it, it touched everyone. It was about a family. And, you know, sometimes the family struggled. Sometimes the family didn't get, get along. But at the end of the day, they were always there for each other and always lifting each other up. And I think that... Because of that, so many people that were going through a tough childhood or a breakup or, you know, figuring out their own identity, they could find peace and comfort in Charmed. And, um, and I hear that story all the time. So do you. So do you. And it's really a huge honor to us that we were a part of it and that we touched your guys' lives. Certainly did. Yes. Piper got married twice. <laughs> oh my God, she's still on the marriage thing. She's counting. She did. She's. she's Who else was she married di- to? So now we're at eight. I don't remember. She's. She's gonna get divorced soon, though. They. They'll remember. They remember everything, right, guys? Don't ask any of us <laughs> to marry you, because <laughs> yeah. we'll just say yes, and then she'll blow you up, and yeah. then you'll get in trouble. Yeah. Just steer clear of that. You've been warned, everybody. Well, no, the female empowerment story went into designing your own life. It makes perfect sense, yes. Before we get to the fan questions, I have to ask you what you guys are fans of, whether it be Star Wars, Star Trek, Harry Potter, anything maybe that's represented here at Comic-Con that you're fans of. I'm more of a Harry Potter yeah. person. Yeah, outside. I like Harry Potter. The books and, and uh, the movies, especially after, like, I think the... I think the one that Alfonso Cuaron directed, I don't know if it was three or five, but which one? Prisoner of Azkaban. Ah, uh, The Prisoner of Azkaban. That's when I really started liking the movies. Um, before that, I, was more, I liked the books. Yeah. yeah. I thought they were incredibly well written and really to- imaginative, and I think J.K. Rowling did an incredible job giving the gift of imagination to many, many people, and more people should be grateful than are. 
Did you have a chance to meet Bonnie Wright, who's here from Harry Potter? I have. I've seen her at her several. Her line is she's way lovely. too long. Forget it. <laughs> no, I see her backstage. Yeah, yeah, we've met before. She's lovely. Yeah, she is. What are you fans of? What do you like to We watch? were super excited that Costas Mandalore was going to be here because yeah. we've both worked with him. I know, and then he canceled. He's so fired. Was he in the show? <laughs> was he in Charmed? No. Yes, but, actually, he did do oh, one he episode. he did do an episode, he didn't did he? with his brother. He did Saving Private Leo. Ah. Uh, yeah. Um, I, have you guys seen Dune? So I just watched Dune 1 for the very first time, and I was riveted and blown away, and I cannot wait. I have a movie date when I get home, and it's so I can go watch Dune 2. How is it? Has anybody seen Dune 2? Is it great? You guys are definitely not that enthusiastic. <laughs> you, wait. Should I go talk about Harry Potter now? You have a date? N not like that kind of a date. Don't marry him. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> working on getting a divorce. <laughs> Don't marry him. And what are you a fan of? Anything specific or maybe something that's here around Comic-Con? Um, I think we both were Buffy fans. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course. Yes. We love it. Any Buffy fans in the crowd? Of course there are. Of course there are. We have some questions in the crowd, and we're going to go to Claire. Actually, this is Aaron. Say hi to Aaron, everybody. Hi, He's your Aaron. new best friend with the microphone. He's going to take my microphone. Hi. So I just wanted to ask, who do you think had the best powers? <laughs> I had like two or three. No, we answered. I was half white lighter and I could touch you and say, you know, Zimbabwe and we could go there. Or I could also throw the lamp across the room and hit your enemy in the head. And I could heal you, just saying. I kicked ass. And I could astral project and be anywhere at any point in time. I orbed. It was basically the same thing. We, we yeah. basically were the same. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh, Mike, I'm so nervous. Um, what was your like, favorite episode to like, film? Like your favorite episode? Mm -hmm. I, I liked a page from the past. And I liked when she went back in time and met her parents because Paige was adopted. And I liked... Um, what was I like the vampire episode for me and I like the one that was the black and white what was it called charm noir, charm noir. that was awesome mm -hmm. hers was the western she's mm. waiting to talk no you're gonna change your mind answer for yourself no I'm too like. busy <laughs> I'm gonna say <clears throat> yes it's split between two one is the Western, because I got to wear the chaps and the cowboy hat and ride horses, and I directed it, so mm -hmm. I thought it was great. But also the very last episode I was in uh, is my favorite, not because I died. Because that, I died? That part kind of sucks. But no, because I thought it was one of the absolute best episodes of the three seasons as far as acting and directing goes, to give myself some props, but also because... I died. Her performance, you're going to try to make a joke, but I'm going to give you a compliment. See, I knew Her this was performance coming. was unbelievable in that episode. She nailed it. She gave 100%. If she didn't, I forced her to keep doing it until she did. It was 110%, I mm -hmm. think, was required. And, um, and I don't know. I just, I, I love that episode. You were fantastic in it. She's just saying that because I'm sitting here. Uh, my favorite, I always say, is Sword in the City because they gave me a big weapon and I never got weapons, so. And I didn't do a lot of the fighting. I did a lot of the falling, so that was exciting. Um, yeah, and you know, I have to say, the two last episodes were really well put together and they were well written and we, uh, we had a hand in seeing how we wanted our characters and families to end up. And I think it was done really well. I won't watch it, but it was great. <laughs> Do you think that your characters are similar to you or opposite? Hmm. I think towards the end, Piper and I just melded together a little bit. We kind of morphed into one person. Um, 
and yeah, I mean, it happens after a while, especially after eight years. We kind of grew up together. Uh, I think Prue was very similar to me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've always had a sort of caretaking personality of wanting to care for the people that I love that are in my life. And Prue, for her, her family was number one. Her sisters were everything to her. So, uh, yeah, I would say that we're incredibly similar. I'd say Paige and I had similarities in the, in the comedy department, in the kind of goofy department, and in the sweet and wanting everything to be great department. Um, but I was an oldest, the eldest girl in my family, and Paige was um, the youngest, and that's a very different it's a very different personality type. And so that was cool to get to experience both though. And I related to my younger sister more from playing it. Good question. Hello, ladies. Hello. Sorry, that's really loud. I didn't realize it was gonna be so loud. Um, my question is actually about your non-acting um, endeavors, uh, namely podcast, directing, and your music, which I got the chance to see at the Edinburgh Fringe in 2019. Amazing. Yeah, so, Please. Anything coming up? The podcast is coming back. I swear. I swear. It'll be uh, next month. Uh, so I have my, my podcast called Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying that. And I do love the directing and... I'm, you know, super passionate about animals and advocating for animals. And then there's, you know, possibly another podcast thing happening. Um, I've taken a break. I live in Mexico and I wanted a different reality after spending many, many years in Hollywood and having to fight, unfortunately, a bunch of bad people to help make the world at large wake up and think differently and be better. And that took a real toll, but I'm back and I'm getting better. Thank you. Hello. Hi, ladies. Um, massive fan of Charmed, as I'm sure everyone is here. Uh, you had some wonderful costumes and props throughout the show. Did you manage to wangle anything away? Is there anything in a closet, in a cupboard somewhere that uh, might interest us? <laughs> Thank you. I have the sword. <laughs> I had, yeah. I have the dragon cane that was really annoying that followed me around for a whole episode that I was terribly annoyed at. I don't know why I brought it home. Because every time I think of it or see it, then I'm like, yeah, that was terribly annoying. I don't know why. And I have teacups. This is how different Holly I need, and I, I are. I needed those, okay. She took home a sword and she took home yeah. teacups and I took home the Dolce Gabbana leopard high heels. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I did have some clothes, but I don't know where they exist now. I've seen them on people on the internet, so I have to assume they're real. Hi. Ooh. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Holly, you were saying uh, you liked Buffy. Charmed and Buffy kind of around, came around at the same time, and they were a big, female-led, really important and, and powerful shows. How do you feel that stuff like that doesn't come out anymore? And the fact that they are like legendary and the fact that they've lasted so long and still have a, such a strong fan base. And also as a film student, um, any recommendations you can talk about, about directing or being behind the camera, I'd really appreciate it. Um, you know, it's, it's, we were just talking about this last night. I find it so strange that there's not shows like that anymore. I don't know what happened. I don't know if they fell out of favor or they're not trendy anymore or networks just don't want to deal with women like us. I don't know. But it's, it's odd to me and it's also sad to me because I feel like we, we made so much progress without really trying to, without it being by design, and then we've lost all this ground and I'm not sure why. I'm not sure they, they, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, as far as directing or being behind the camera, I loved producing, I love putting good people together to do their jobs and put teams together that are really good at what they do. Um, and that way it makes it easier for the director type people that, um, 
I, I couldn't put myself in that chair. Um, but I know other people that enjoy it. The last thing I did in Hollywood is I directed a movie that was nominated for Grand Jury Prize at Sundance Film Festival and qualified for the Oscar, which I passed on. But um, I would highly recommend for film is getting to know classic film, like real classic film, and not just the directors and the writers, but even like the set design and the... Um, the wardrobe and the cinematographers, because it does, it takes all of that to make that magic. And the more you know, not to like crib or, or take from it, but just to be inspired and understand other voices and definitely cinema from, from even from non-English speaking countries. That's definitely a recommend for sure. My voice is super froggy, hey. Um, so I'm actually a new Charmed fan. I'm just currently going through for the first time. Welcome. Almost, I, I love it so much. Um, almost at the end of season six. So from season one to season six, which is like your favorite moment? Favorite moment or favorite season? Favorite season? Ooh, that's tough. Oh, you're putting her in the hot seat right now. I know. <laughs> that's, I can't that's say brutal. three or four, can I? One and eight for you, probably. <laughs> One and eight. One and eight. It's a good. Um, you know, what's great about the show is that we did have eight seasons, and we did get to grow with our characters. Very rare. And, um, yeah, so it's hard to pick, you know, favorite moments. It's hard to pick um, even favorite seasons or episodes, you know, because there was just, there was a lot of good. Um, yeah, and we, you know, very much so became like family. I erroneously married one of them. Again, don't ask us. Well, just say yes. <laughs> Hi, um, my question is, if Prue was still around when you found out about Paige, how do you think Prue would have reacted and what do you think would be the sisterly dynamic between the two going forward? She'd be upset there's another mouth to feed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she'd have to go back to like, the auction house and work. She wouldn't be able to be creative with her camera. No, I think Prue would have been uh, thrilled with Paige. I think that, I think that, you know, Paige's personality would have helped continue bringing out that sort of fun side that we started getting to see in three, in season three, um, with Prue also, you know, just loving her and, and taking her under her wing and, uh, and being protective of her. I think, I think that they would have, I think they would have got along really well. I agree, I agree. I think Paige would have liked to have some extra steering. <laughs> Prue would have had a new favorite. <laughs> Probably. Hi guys, I'm Jack. Uh, my question was more, is there any chance I could get you to say hi to my mum? She was meant to be here today, but she's currently in her bed out watching Charmed as we speak, so I just really want to make her jealous. Wave your hand in the air. I don't know where you are. Hi, ah, Mom. Okay. And what's your mom's name? Shelly, but we all call her Sheldon. Hello, Sheldon. Sheldon. Hi, Sheldon. Okay, one, one, two, three. Everyone in the audience, pan around. Say hello, Sheldon. One, two, three. Hello, hello Sheldon. Sheldon. How's that? Okay, bye, Mom. Thank you. Obviously, given the budget for the show, if you had had a bigger budget, do you think that the powers of your characters would have grown more? The CGI would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> Special effects would have been better. <laughs> um, yeah. They, they would have. I would have blown more things up for sure. That's, that's very costly. Um, is there anyone in particular you would have liked to guest star on the show? That we didn't have? I thought we had everyone. Damn it. Um, Kevin Costner. Oh, okay. Random. Just saying who I think is hot. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just going to... He would have been, been in the Western. That would have been cool. <laughs> totally. That would have been amazing. Right. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Hi, um, quick question. Obviously, we've spoken about the fact that, unfortunately, you know, strong women-led programs have fallen out of favor. Mm -hmm. And obviously, the reboot of Charmed 
didn't do too well in the UK. Oh. Sorry. But if we were remaking it, who would you all pick to play yourselves if we were to remake it now? Which Me. strong female... Obviously. <laughs> but which I, strong female sort of up-and-coming actresses or actresses that... We're, we're still up-and-coming. Obviously, sorry. <laughs> we're, just, we're, we're just picking ourselves. What are you? If she can I, have what? Kevin Costner, I want Angelina Jolie. <laughs> oh, I would like Angelina too. Okay, well, I got her first. And Brad, can we like you know get them back no, together? No, they don't no. work together oh, anymore. Darn it. Hi, Who do you um, want to play you? I already said Angelina. That's who you really want. Yeah. I go She's blank depth. every time someone asks me questions about people. I just blank out. <laughs> and I start thinking, like, honestly, like, I don't know why, but uh, a woman I know named the Lady Bunny came to my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? You want Bunny? All right. Yeah. This is gonna rabbits. Be <laughs> <laughs> Hi, um, I absolutely loved watching Charmed as a child and it just kind of enraptured me and stuff like that. Um, my co-worker who's ill at the moment uh, couldn't be here but she would love for you to say hi. Her name's Teresa. She especially loves um, Shannon and she's asked me to get a few photos. <laughs> <laughs> um, my question is, if there ever was talk of coming back and doing, I don't know, something about the children of the charmed ones would you ever come back for a reboot and yeah if you would ever do it thank you well first off hi teresa uh hi. that's her name hello i think that we uh all three have had this conversation and if it was done properly i think that we would all a hundred percent be on board with it and i think it would be incredibly cool to once again actually see Prue and Paige together in that dynamic. So I'm pretty sure we would all do it. I think our children should be like mashups of like horror films. So like my child could be Chucky. Your child could be Megan. Freddy. <laughs> It'd have to be a child like killer. We have enough left. So there's Megan. Megan from the Megan robot AI whatever movie. Chucky. What's another little kid villain in a Stop movie? Stop ignoring your leprechauns. They Fine. came to your funeral. Stop. Two. Two came. <laughs> How did you get the role of being the people you were in Charmed? You're so cute. So cute. Um, a lot of different auditions for me. And at first they wanted me to audition for Phoebe, which I had to explain to them was not a good idea. No. And she was supposed to be Piper for a moment in time. Go ahead. You can tell them. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Right. Uh, I, you know, I'd worked with Aaron Spelling before, so he just offered me the part. I didn't really have to audition. It was one of the luckiest jobs. Um, but I did have to actually read the script and say yes, which I wasn't going to do. I wasn't going to do the show. And Holly saw the script thrown down in the back of my car and said, um, have you read it? And I was like, yeah, no. And she was like, you need to read it. It's actually really good. So I read it and um, said, yeah, okay, I want to do it. And then, and then I said to Aaron, like, we have to do it. Like, we have to bring in Holly um, because she's the reason why I even bothered reading the script. So that's how I got involved. And then I got fired and Rose got an opportunity. <laughs> The baton passes, my darling. Um, I was in Romania doing a movie, and I got a call in my hotel room, and Aaron Spelling was a very legendary Hollywood producer. He was very, kind of like a little wizard, uh, I would say, um, and quite ancient at the time that I got a phone call, and it was like, hello, this is Aaron Spelling, and I was like, <laughs> click. <laughs> and then it rings again, and I'm like, hello. And um, they offered me the part uh, in the show, and I said, give me a little time to think about it. And I said, okay, universe, send me, a, going back to the magic question, send me a sign if I meant to do this. And I have never seen this before or since then on a plane, but on my flight from Romania to California, 
one of the entertainment options was the pilot episode of Charmed. And so I watched it, and I was like, oh, it looked, Im- I've n- and never before or since, wow. right? And so I watched it, and it was like, it was great. And I was like, okay, I'm in. And then um, I didn't realize they left, like, fire the showrunner and then uh, changed the way it looked, too. But, <laughs> but I, yeah, so it was all kind of fate. Good question. Thank you. Um, first of all, my daughter, just there, got me into watching Charmed. So much so, when my second child was born, I let her name her, and she named her Paige. She's also gone on to have sons of her own, or she's, one of them's now named Wyatt. Would you be able to say hi to them? <laughs> okay, you. now you guys are starting to trend. We're going to get in trouble. Hi, Paige. Hi, Wyatt. Be back up, Do you have, like, a dog named Prue or something that I can say hi to? <laughs> cat, cat. Hello. My name is... Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, uh, just say uh, thank you for coming to Scotland. And Sean, um, I'm glad you liked the wee gift I gave you. And I'm Loved just going to say, embarrassingly, Piper, uh, you were actually my crush on the show. And you still are. Woo! <laughs> Don't ask her. She might say yes. Mm. Mm. She's a, a punch up on my way there. <laughs> right. uh, so I cosplay the doctor from Doctor Who so my question is just for all three of you if I showed up in the TARDIS and offered to take you anywhere and anywhere in time and space where would you want where and when would you want to go and why this is a proposal <laughs> tricky very tricky yes. Tahiti I've been there you did, didn't you go on your honeymoon there yes See, I keep up. A long flight. Yeah. Is that when you decided to get divorced? No, that was before the that um. was before the marriage. Oh. Um, I would want to go to. I would like to help out Joan of Arc on the battlefield. There you go. I just want to go. I know to, like, it wouldn't Kenya. end well, but that would be okay anyway. <laughs> to where? Just Kenya. Kenya or like Botswana. That's where you went on your honeymoon. No, Stop I would know I would the South Africa. Um, it's no more different. honeymoons. The honeymoon is over. I don't want this to end. I feel like it's a sleepover and we're talking about boys. And this really is what we it. do. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> you guys have been so amazing. We know that all of you guys want your chance to get your autographs and get your photos taken with these lovely, iconic ladies. But ladies, what are you looking forward to as a final question for me? After you leave Aberdeen, what's next for you? I'm going to get her divorced. Quickly. We have other people to marry. <laughs> See, he just raised his hand. Now you're his crush. See how fast that happened? <laughs> Moving on. We will leave our hearts in Scotland. Ah, oh, We will be back. We will be back. We hope you will be. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation you, you guys. for Rose, Shannon, and Holly, your charmed cast. Aber-